Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Minas Academy. So guys, today's video is a slightly different video than the rest of my videos. Because in the most of my videos, I have given you a lot of lectures regarding different uh, principles, different working of different equipments and all the dif different topics. So today's video is about the brainstorming and like, you know, we all are curious about certain things in our life. Well, uh, I, I'm a Marvel fan basically. I do like Marvel movies. My favorite uh, character is the Iron Man and I always think about this Iron Man's suit. How this Iron Man suit runs on a small like a small like a battery type uh, kind of equipment that is nothing but the arc reactor. So now in case of arc reactor there is a plate that is the palladium plate. So I was thinking like that this particular palladium plate can be an electrolytic solution or else like in the recent videos of mine you must have learned this hydrogen cars and the fuel cells. In case of the fuel cell there is a membrane that is nothing but the polymeric membrane. Now, in case of this Iron Man's arc reactor, there is a plate of palladium. So, this particular palladium can be of electrolytic solution. Or as it can be of this particular electrolytic membrane. So, can actually be manufactured this particular arc reactor, whether it is possible or not. So, that's a very tricky question, whether it, it can be manufactured in a real life or not. Oh, in case of the fuel cells, we do require the hydrogen and oxygen to like to make this particular make the electrons get discharged and then make the flow of the electrons in case of the fuel cells. But oh, in case of this arc reactor, whether it actual actually possible or not, like we can implement this particular fuel cell in this uh, Iron Man's uh, like suit. So yes, it is possible basically, because you know because design solves very much problems in in our everyday life design like the like the the design the suits design has to be in such a way that it can there, there will be a flow of the electrons there will be the flow of the hydrogen gas and the oxygen gas from the outside atmosphere by the means of certain amount of the flow tubes or the flow plates basically so this can be actually possible like as per the as per my opinion it can be actually it can be possible most of the people say like anything is possible by using this advancement technology advancement in technology and everything so over here if i say yeah this is possible then over here in this case we have to do some sort of the material selection which uh, we have to do some sort of the material selection that is that which stands at the high pressure high temperature also it is it must have the high thermal coefficient so the second case the material cell after the material selection the design is very much important over here the design of that particular arc reactor so the for that particular design we have to use some sort of the softwares that is nothing but the stimulation softwares and due to that stimulation softwares we can determine the actual material selection whether it is correct or not after that after the design the third step is that the prototyping so in case of the prototyping first we have to manufacture a simple cell that is a simple fuel cell in the in terms of this uh, my in terms of in the in terms of design of that particular arc reactor so this can be possible in by in some sort of means also like overall over here the crucial parameters are the thickness of the membrane or else the thickness of the electrolytic solution or as the electrolytic plate in SOFCs that is of solid oxide fuel cells there is a plate that is you know having a smaller thickness that is around 3 mm is used that is in the case of SOFCs that is of solid oxide fuel cells but over, over here I am talking about this fuel cells so in case of this uh, fuel cells the, this thickness also matters so guys please do comment whether it can be manufactured or it cannot be manufactured just leave a comment over here I am just very much excited for your comments thank you so much guys for watching this small brainstorming video.